He'll try and run for the first with Edwards. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. 65 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. Edwards. Looking for a signal, but none forthcoming. They stopped him shy of the goal line. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. They'll look to run with Edwards. Got it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Gus Edwards. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Chargers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. So that, Charles, their first score of the ball game, obviously, coming here in the third quarter. Is that going to be enough to energize the troops? It's a great question, and we'll wait to see the answer. But it's finally something for them to build on. Now they know that they can actually score against that defense. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And it's now a 28-7 ball game. Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out ready to send it away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And you get a look at the numbers, so they don't even tell the whole story. This has been a tremendous performance to this point. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Throwing is Williams. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at Soldier Field. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On play action, here's Williams. Targeting more, and he's oh. got him on the crossing pattern. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter. Doing the old hold up four fingers college sign. Meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They'll fake the give. Now Williams. And he'll find Everett there, complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? To the air once more, Williams. 
Got his tight end. That's complete. That's Lewis. And the Bears are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. Here's Swift. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short game. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. One more time with Swift. Touchdown. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Chicago. DeAndre Swift, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bears have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Santos now to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards. <laughs> the Bears send the kicking team out there and they will send this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. But one thing I do know, these guys on defense, they don't want this game to end. They're winning by multiple touchdowns. They've shut down the opposing quarterback in a big way, and they're still picking up sacks as we approach the end of this one. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Herbert now. He'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That is caught, and he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now it's Herbert. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Herbert back to the air. That one completes to McConkie. That one a first down pickup of eight. Out 
out of the gun. Herbert. Right, Flush well. to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. It's Javon Dexter who got in to drop him. Road well, partner, you and I'll be headed to the airport, but after this game, when it's interview time, someone's going to ask this quarterback what hurt worse, the interceptions or the sacks. This whole day, it's been rough. Barring a miraculous comeback, this offense isn't going to win this game, but he's probably going to say what hurt most is the loss. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19 from the 50. Here's Herbert. And this one finds McConkey. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation. One that they have a much better chance of picking up. The Chargers on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This will be third and five. Herbert. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And the Bears will get the football back. So he needed the short yard as Charles he elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. <laughs> and he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. You often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked out before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Give all that credit defensively to Khalil Mack. A great stop in the backfield. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
Brandon, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. On first and ten, it's Swift. Dances by him. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Brandon, every great running backs coach that I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Joey Bosa in on the stop. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out in the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through them. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Third and four. Swift going to try up the middle. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. So many things go into making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start and then a nice tackle to finish things off. Matt Eberflus is going to take a risk here on fourth down. He is going to go for it. They'll try it now with Swift. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The type of game that he's having running the football, there was no doubt who they were giving the ball to. So why didn't they just go ahead and go after him? on defense right yeah, if, if you know, in on him right you know he's having that type of a game who else would you expect to get the football i would have taken my chances and sold out defensively to stop him and if anyone else picks it up i tip my cap to him so this one in the win column for the chicago bears and it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown and that was all she wrote I almost want to do the defense chant right now right defense with a couple of claps in there but no one wants to hear that from me let's just talk about how they got it done though when you take care of every aspect of the game shut down the run control the airways right make sure the quarterback is harassed this type of performance you get they can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Yeah, there's put the whooping. I have to start. There's four and oh. Yeah, five after four. But yeah, there's nine.